Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a massive haul to share with you from Live Love Polish. I have a bunch of nail care items and then three collections. They all were sent to me for review from Live Love Polish. So if you're interested, I'll leave my affiliate links down below and they are all available right now. So this video is going to be a little bit of a longer one. I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the products that I got up close, including bottle shots of the collections, but I am not doing swatches yet. I would like to know what collection you guys would like to see swatch first. So please leave me comments down below and I'll get on that ASAP. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So first up, let's talk about this iridescent bag. The color on this bag is outstanding. It is see-through and it's a perfect size for travel. Right now I have mine packed with all of my nail care essentials that I take with me to work. Just a beautiful, perfect size. It does have a really cool zip top. Right now, if you buy any four items from Live Love Polish, you will get that bag for free. They also have this gorgeous holographic bag. It does come with a tassel and it is a zip. I would think of this more of like a cosmetic size bag. It has a nice depth to it and perfect just to throw into your life larger bag. They also do have this larger drawstring hollow bag. The color on this one is so intense. I have my daughter here modeling it for me. I think it's the perfect size on her. I'm also going to show you what it looks like on me. So I do prefer this one for the smaller size. It also is a little bit more pricey at $40, but the quality is definitely there. It does have thicker walls and a good amount of a storage. So I think that would be perfect like the, for the indie shop or things like that. Live Love Polish is now offering these are really sweet travel size nail clippers. These are $5 and they do come with the Live Love Polish emblem. If you're looking for a really kind of more affordable item to throw into your bag to get the four for the free iridescent bag, that would be a great one. Live Love Polish is also now offering these cuticle nippers. Again, they do have the labeling on there. If you're one who prefers to clip your cuticles, this is a nice heavyweight set. I know some of you don't, but these are also awesome for peeling up of vinyls as well. I will definitely be testing mine out for that. So new to Live Love Polish, they also have this glass crystal cuticle pusher. So if you prefer to push your cuticles as opposed to clip them like I do, this one is beautiful. It is glass or so a little bit more on the fragile side, but there is a super pointy end and then the more slanted kind of orange stick shape. And it does have a little bit of a file feel to them as well. So I'm really excited about this product. So Live Love Polish is now also offering cuticle oils. This is such an important step in my nail care regimen. I get asked all the time what I use, and it's a base coat, a nail oil, and a glass file. So these are in a nice, friendly, travel size size. They do have the roll cap tip, which makes for good application, especially on the go. So I got vanilla bergamot and then the green tea cucumber. The green tea is by far and away my favorite scent, but they are nice and delicate. They're not overpowering at all. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like in application. Application. These absorb in really well. I was super impressed and really happy with the finish. So once, this is how I apply mine. I apply mine all over my naked nail usually and let it soak into the nail and then the cuticle oils around there and then rub it in and go about my day. So Live Love Polish is now also offering these dotting tools. So these are double sided. They are a very nice hefty weight. You do get a good range of size. I'm really impressed. I do have dotting tools from overseas that are a little bit more on the affordable or cheap side, I do prefer the weight on these. So next up, and one of the last nail care items is the cleanup brush. This is currently sold out, but you can join the waiting list. I am in love with this brush. It is a very thin and rounded. It makes for very precise cleanup. It does close in on itself to work. Almost looks like a pin, so it's perfect again for travel. It's really going to protect the ends of those brushes. Here I'm just pretending to clean up, but these fit perfectly between my sidewall and my nail. I'm really excited again about this product. Again, it does have a nice heft to it as well. Very weighty and it has that beautiful Live Love Polish sign. So now on to the actual polish nail care items. So first up is that Ridge Filling Base Coat. I have not tested these out. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what they look like and I will be testing them out soon. I will have the full write up on my blog when I get done with that. So here's a quick look at that strengthening base coat and then they also have their very own quick dry top coat which I am super excited to try. So this product is currently sold out, but you can join the wait list. I'll leave the direct link down below. It does retail at $13. The last nail care product I have today is the matte top coat, and I will leave a direct link as soon as I get all four of those nail treatments up and reviewed. So thank you so much for sticking on with that. Next, we're going to do the collections, and I think this is where the most interest is going to be. First up is the On The Cover collection. So this is a collection of a six gorgeous holographic polishes. First up is the silver, and it is is currently sold out, but you can join that wait list. 
So this one is casting call and it is a very strong silver linear holographic polish that also doubles as a topper. I did try that out really quick. I won't be swatching it today, but here's a quick look at that brush shot. If you'd like to see this one in action, please let me know down below. So next up is issues and this one is described simply as a red linear holographic polish. It is very bright. I don't see any pink in there though. I think it's more orange based. Very beautiful, really holiday appropriate, but really all year round, I think. So next up is editorial. And this one is described as a ox blood brown. It does have very strong red tones in there as well, though. Super beautiful. And the formula looks like it's going to be really easy to work with. So there's a look at that brush shot. And then next up is a layout. And this one's described as a forest green, but I did feel a little bit of a teal pool in there as well. I'm super excited to see what this looks like on the nail. Very strong rainbows. So there's a quick look at that brush shot. And then next up is a lookbook. And this one is a very deep navy linear holographic polish. All of these are throwing strong rainbows, but this one is for sure a beaut. So here's a quick look at that brush shot again. I think all of these are going to be really awesome formulas as well. The last polish of the on the cover collection is close up. And this one is described as a purple linear holographic polish. I am filling some magenta tones in there as well in the bottle. Again, just incredibly strong rainbows. So there's a look at that brush. The next collection I have to share with you is the Bold Collection, and for you cream lovers, this is going to be a beautiful one for you. So first up is Chandelier, and this is the Silver Hollow Glitter Topper. It does have nice large shreds in there in a clear base. I'm really excited to swatch this over some of the creams of the collection, so there's a quick look at that brush shot. And then next up is Pave, and this is an iridescent flake topper. So again, the same feel, larger chunks, but this one is iridescent. It's sometimes called like unicorn skin, that very shifty, gorgeous, light kind of opalescent feel. So there's a quick look at that brush shot. Again, this isn't a clear base. It's in a little bit of a almost a matte feeling clear base. So next up is Chanel and this is described as a dark mauve cream polish. So the formula again looks amazing. This is a very classy feeling shade. I can't wait to swatch it for you. Next is a Stiletto. So this one is described as a magenta shimmer. It is a very deep base. The formula again, I can't wait to swatch any of these but I'm waiting to see which ones you want to see first because it is quite a bit of polish but that formula looks awesome. So next up is Macchiato and this is described as a medium brown. This does have a little bit of that ugly pretty color feel to it. I know some of you ladies are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. So there's a quick look at that brush shot. And then what I feel may be my favorite of the bold collection is Corduroy and this is described as a mustard cream. Again the formula looks spot on. The color is gorgeous. Very fall but I would wear this all year round. So next up is Velour and this has almost a duochrome shift in there from a teal to a blue. It's described is a metallic emerald green. So there's a quick look at that brush shot. I wonder how many times I can say that today. So next this is blue suede and this is described as a metallic sapphire blue. So you do get all that gorgeous metallic shimmer. Here's a quick look at that brush shot. So we're almost at the end of the bold collection, but this one is skinny jeans. And this is described as a dark blue with a blue shimmer. I really feel like I'm going to be filling this one on the nail as well. It's just super deep, very, very dark navy with a ton of almost kind of micro sharded glitter. Really gorgeous to look at in the bottle. So there's a quick look at that brush shot. And the last polish of the bold collection is thigh high. And this is described as a deep indigo cream. I did get a ton of purple tones in here. And then we'll move on to the Scarab collection. This one is newly available out today and it is incredible. This is six multi-chrome polishes. I feel like multi-chromes are really having a moment right now. So first up is a Red Sea and this is described as a magenta to copper to green shift. These are true multi-chromes. You can get a really good feel for that during the brush shot while the bottle's at an angle. So there you can see all those greens and reds. So next up is Sahara and this one shifts between a red, a copper, and a green. Incredible shifty. Even what the camera was catching looked completely different than what I was seeing. So here's a quick look at that brush shot. Gorgeous copper tones. This the next one is called Oasis and this is one of the most shifty of the collection. This one shifts between a blue, a purple, and a magenta. You can see all of those tones there in the bottle as well as some gold around the edges. So here's a quick look at that brush shot. This next polish is Obelisk and this is another super shifty one. This one shifts between green, purple, and a blue. Super super gorgeous and there's a quick look at that brush shot. 
So next up is Sphinx, and this shifts between a teal, a purple, and a magenta. It's super easy to catch all of those tones and more. Like, I can see a little bit of green peeking through there as well. Here's a quick look at that brush shot. And then the last polish of this collection is Scarab. So this is the namesake. So this one shifts between a purple, a magenta, and a copper. All of these seem like they may be close in the bottle, but on the nails, they're going to look completely different. I'm super excited to swatch those as well. So it wouldn't be a true swatch and review for me if I didn't at least swatch a one polish. So I am going to go ahead and show you Sutton Place. This polish is available right now, and it was a holiday exclusive. So I, it's pretty limited. As soon as it sells out, I do not believe that this one will be back. So this polish is described as a maroon with a maroon shimmer, very deep and vampy. You guys know that is right up my alley. So here's a quick look at how Sutton's Place swatched on my natural nail. Here's a look at that first easy coat. It did apply like a dream, very pigmented, super easy to work with. I had no issues at all. It was just a little bit sheer. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and then show you how it built up for me with that second easy coat. So you can see here that coverage is pretty awesome. If you don't have much free line free visible nail line, you may be able to get away with one coat. So here's a quick look at that second. It does just add a little bit of depth though, so I do recommend going in for that second. Two for sure brings this polish easily and completely opaque. I didn't have any brush stroking or anything like that. It did dry down a little bit dull, so I do recommend going in with one coat of your favorite glossy top coat. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats with a glossy top coat underneath my artificial lighting. And then this is my final swatch photo at an angle under artificial lighting. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me there's an entire review please let me know which collection you're most interested in seeing i will try to get them all swatched but i'd like to know what you guys want to see first so thanks so much for watching and a big huge thank you to live love polish for sending me all of these products through January 8th, all nail polishes, nail cares, and accessories are buy one, get one 25% off. And if you order four, you do get that bonus iridescent bag like I'm showing here. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.